Okay, so this is a psychic reading with Chris, the psychic medium, and he is giving Nicole, our new friend, a uh, reading. We filmed together here at the Haunted Jail all weekend long at Jasper Jail, and uh, she's going to get a reading by him. So uh, I'm going to film it, and this will be a standalone video on my channel. And if any of you would like a reading after seeing this, his information will be in the description area. All right. All right, Nicole. You ready? I am excited. All right. So, just so the viewers know, um, I had you sit here for a few minutes just so I can do like a little short analysis. Mm -hmm. She has not seen any of my results I have written here. I have not discussed anything with her. It's going to be all a eye-opening experience. Um, so, we'll start with, where do you want me to start? And you'll hear me talking to myself out loud, so... I won't even answer you. Yep, I have to <laughs> talk to myself. Alright, so where do you want me to start at? Okay, so I'm going to start with your, we're going to start with your physical body parts. <laughs> that is not right. Your physical body. Um, very first time I met you, I could definitely detect that you had a lot of back trauma. Uh, I can definitely detect a lot of arthritis going on. Um, and also, you, I could detect something was going on with your foot. Now, that you did reveal to me you had an ingrown toe or something yeah, like that. Yeah, actually, I was just thinking about that. I'm like, what's wrong with my foot? But yes, I have, I'm getting surgery on Monday. Yeah, for the record, she did oh, tell wow. me that part only after I confirmed it first. Yeah. Um, you really need to start watching your blood pressure now. That's the new thing I picked really? up on. Because I just sensed the blood pressure because of your stress that you're under, the cigarettes, and the way your life has gone, mm -hmm. your heart is what's scaring me. Not anything right away, but if you can take care of right. yourself, you can maybe be, that's the word I want to use, you'll be able to surpass, we'll use that word. I have to quit smoking for sure. Smoking. My doctors have scared me about my heart, so yeah. Yeah, and that your blood pressure, you might want to go see a doctor and get some kind of, some of the start controlling that. Yeah, okay. Because even when I was in my barrier, I was pouring sweat from you. Really? You were just radiating heat, and that's not from your actual body temperature, that was from your internal. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I want you to be very careful of that, and I do detect that there's a lot of heart issues that has been in your family as well. So... Yeah. All the way, well, as far as I know, my father and then my grandfather, um, my grandfather actually hung himself because of it. Um, and even, like, I have siblings with the same issue. So, yeah. That's, nice. That's definitely nice. a good family. Also, too, this was the last thing I picked up on with you for your body is, um, watch your throat. Mm-hmm. With the cigarettes and yeah, yeah, I knew you already knew what I was gonna say. I don't want to reveal it, but I know. And that was something new I picked up on with just this morning with you. Mm -hmm. Um, so very much watch your blood pressure, your heart, your throat. Your back's gonna always be the way it's gonna be. Don't do heavy lifting, which doctors already told you, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Um and this is something else too. And I've done this with Patty quite a few times when I first met her. Your sleeping position. You're going to have to start learning to, and it's difficult, it is, it's so Patty a long time too. I can't sleep on a bed. No, 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 you still sleep on a bed, it's your, it's your sleeping positions. You're going to have to start learning, if you can, on your right side more. Because A, your heart will be elevated. Yes. B, you have a... I can see your spine. It's got that like kind of like a little small like S. I don't know if that means. Okay. It does. When you lay there, you want the S kind of. Now I'm not an actual doctor, doctor, so don't quote me. But when you lay on your right side, that S should kind of like unpretzel itself a little bit to at least alleviate 10% of pressure on your back. Right. So try to at least do that. It's the best option I can give you for your back. Yeah. Um, because of your car accident, which I picked up on. Yeah. Um, which also brings me to a positive thing for you, because I did ask you this this morning, but I didn't say anything to you. I asked you about your car and how long have you had it. Mm -hmm. um, depending on the route you would choose, because everybody has different paths, free will, and everything, you could actually succeed in getting a brand new car in four years. 
give or take. But it's going to take a lot of determination and dedication with that. And mm -hmm. speaking of determination and dedication, we're going to talk about somewhat of your past. Wait, do you want me to go there? Yeah. No, no, I'm talking. Oh, sorry. You're good, you're good, you're good. I remember, I'm right? So I, far I talk to myself out loud. Um, That's good. I'm freezing. Let me go. Okay, I will start with. I'll start with this area. So, number one rule thing, or not rule? Number one thing I noticed with you when I also first met you was tons of trauma. Tons of trauma, and I'm not picking on you. I know I'm not exaggerating, but I'm just. What do you know? It is what it is. And I get the trauma started between the ages of six and nine. There is, um, I don't know if you want me to reveal this. You can. I do detect some sort of sexual, like, I don't know if it's an assault or, like, a, or, but it was something along those lines. Mm -hmm. And I feel that that was so traumatizing that you blocked it out. But unfortunately, because your subconscious had blocked a lot of your trauma out, you have started downgrading yourself. Mm -hmm. You have started making yourself see more of a. I don't want to use that term. Um, I won't be offended. No, I have to use the words I'm comfortable with. Okay. Um. All right. I'll. Okay. I'll use this one. I don't need to take a very unhealthy path with your your energy, we'll say it that way. Okay. Um, because of your fear, which I know of, mm -hmm. your anxiety I detected big time, mm -hmm. and your emotions, the trauma, a lot of physical abuse, verbal abuse, um, a lot of that has decided to allow itself to feed off of you a little bit, and I'm, I'm doing this as years go on, so I'm taking you back to younger years and like teens and all that, as a general. All the, during that time, there was, you, somehow, someway, you started forming an energy with all the trauma, and if you don't get yourself off of this path that you're on, this energy can eventually, as time moves on, take a life form of its own. And that's when you can start having PK about PK attacks, which is psychic psychic kinetic energy attacks, or AKA poltergeist activity, such as things flying around and you don't even know why, and you think it's haunted, but it's not. And I know you've seen a couple of things. Um, we don't want you to get to that. I don't want you to get to that path or route. So. I have underlined, I should underline it more. I need you to start doing a lot of healing. Um, I will continue on with what I'm discussing with the energy in a minute, but I need to jump over to this. I jump around a lot too. Mm -hmm. I have to just go over the flow That's goes. Fine. I'm um, before I continue on, and just don't let me forget, because sometimes I do, please. <laughs> um, you're going to have to start meditation, which I had you do earlier today, mm -hmm. and I'm going to give you some credit because for, for a beginner, yep. I'll call you that, yep. you did pretty good. Thank you. Like on a scale from 1 to 10, I'll probably give you about a 6. Alright, that's good for me. It's My mind's are always going. So that's, that's why. Good. But um, I need you to really start meditating. Um, I know you're a paranormal investigator. We all are. Um, a big thing that you need to really keep up on is saging your equipment. Mm -hmm. You figure when you're going to all these places and you're using constantly, it's like a magnet. Yeah. All the energy is collecting, that's forming balls. Those balls, by the way, are also nutrients for your energy. So, you are... Interesting. I've mm -hmm. never heard of them, like, it's considered like balls, but okay. I just use the words that come to me. Um... I'm getting lost, sorry. <laughs> um... I'm going to jump back to your... Are you drained? Huh? Are you getting drained? No, no, I'm getting oh, hot. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm going to jump back to your, to the energy now. Okay. Um, okay, so, how are we going to see this? I have to do this sometimes.
Have you been trying to give it a name? Be honest, no, please. No, I, I've i only given it what it's told me, what I've heard. And I actually thought it was nameless. But then I heard that it has a name, but I I don't know it. I, I know that whatever name it, it has given me is not its real name. No, it's given its name to you, but it's in your subconscious mind, so that you're going to really have to work on. Okay. So, we're going to have to get to the meditation. Um, I really want to recommend you seeing a... Uh, I, I want you to see a reputable psychic Reiki master. Are they, find those. They are. <laughs> but the only reason why I say that one is because not only do you have to cleanse yourself, but you need to get that attachment off of you. And I'm going to just give you a heads up if you were successful to find one. The okay. Alright, it's um, back on. My camera just shut off for some damn by reason. By the way. It's back on. Oh, never okay. mind. I'll wait until you get done. Okay, I had to change my memory card. It was full for all the filming I did here this weekend. We are going to continue on a different memory card here. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So, okay. Can you bring your energy back in? I was holding on to her energy, so people were wondering why I had my fist, that's why. Okay. Um, so, subconsciously, you have heard his name. Um, yeah, I've heard the saying that, you know, if you know his name, you have power over it. I never recommend that with anybody, just to be, because you never know, it's like a 50-50 thing. So even if you ever would actually hear his name, I wouldn't even re recommend say, saying it or even remembering it. Mm -hmm. um, if you can get rid of this attachment as soon as possible, it's going to take time too. You figure all the years that has, it has built up, it's going to probably take as long. Mm -hmm. um, I, I will admit, I briefly mentioned to her I sensed something with 14, 15 years. Uh, and I didn't say anything more to her, but the 14, 15 years, if you continue to not help yourself and heal yourself, it's going to get way worse on you. And I do not want to see that with you because you are a very, very phenomenal person. You're a very beautiful person. I'm not hitting on either. But you are very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and this is one thing I have told her also when I first met her is she has a heart a, a heart of light. Or a heart of gold. I can't remember how I worded it. but I said gold. Gold. So you need to let that shine. <laughs> um... We we're gonna jump around again. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna jump to some of the relatives I picked up on. Sure. I have I have four total, and one of them came to me this morning. Now, I'm not 100 percent sure this one concerns to you, mm -hmm. or not concerns to. Sorry, I don't know what the word I want to use. Pertains to you mm -hmm. because we are in the haunted location, mm -hmm. so I'd be picking up somebody else's energy. But um, I detected a grandfather, mm -hmm. and the grandfather, his message to you was he loves you and says sorry for your loss, and he sends you blue jays. Um, I got a your grandmother, but she didn't say anything to me. She was soft-spoken in life, so. Yep, I got your grandmother. And then I also got an uncle of yours. I don't know if he's a great uncle or an uncle. And he sat there and said, and his message was clear to me. He said, please don't be like me in life. So I don't know if you if you can you know what that means or something like that. I have to think on that. Yep. Sometimes that happens because yeah. people can't think right away. But um. Because I also have my mom's adopted and she's got a million siblings. I, yep. You know, and I might not know this person. So. I just deliver messages. So. Yep. yep. But it's kind of funny if I heard that and I'm saying this to you now. So apparently he's watching around you like the other. I mean, all of our loved ones around us. But yeah. Some of them are more predominant than others because sometimes, well, that'll be another subject for another time. Um, because I don't want to get off track here. But those are the young, oh, and then the one I got this morning was, I'm hoping this pertains to you, was I got a male friend who passed in his early to mid 30s. But I don't know if this pertains to you or not. Might. But it was a car accident. I'm terrible with this thing. You're fine. If you can't, it may not. 
Sometimes this comes to you a week from now. Sometimes honestly, it's not. A, I think you're talking about my brother, maybe. Maybe. Okay, that's possible. Because like I said, it a male. motorcycle accident, and he was uh, 28. Okay. So he's like close. Because I heard like 32 to 34, but that's actually close to 28. So I'm gonna put a well, half check. Now this, I'm not sure yet, but that could be your brother. Because he, he came so fast when I was trying to get with it this morning with the in my coffee, so I didn't get to catch the whole message. Okay. But I did sense a lot of love, and I definitely sense a lot of protection too. So it is very possible it is your brother. Okay. Which is, now I'm thinking about it and you're saying that that's starting to make more sense now. Because I wasn't getting the friend part, but that's just kind of like this, the sense it got. Yeah. Because to me, he, he, was, he was a stranger to me, so. Yeah. And he didn't say, he didn't identify himself like your grandparents did. Um, did he have anything to say? He's watching you. Um, I thought he was. He's watching you. He also sends you Blue Jays. Um, you've also heard his one of his favorite songs in the past, and he plays his music for you a lot on the radio. I don't know what the song is, but I'm sure you do. Um, and this we'll talk about too in a few minutes, but you've also had dreams of him. Um, he does want me to tell you quit being careless. Uh, and I just heard that. Um, yep. Quit being careless. That's me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now he's saying this is a joke. Don't be bratty. Yeah. A little bratty sometimes. Um, and he, yeah, he keeps emphasizing me. You've got to let go, let go, let go. Because he see he, they your all your relatives see what's going on around you and especially with and i'm not going to say anything else because i don't do that but yep. um they can only help you so much um you really need to reconstruct yourself again mm -hmm. um which is going to now take me now this makes sense now i can see why i jumped around now i'm going to go into your abilities because like i always tell everybody everybody's born with abilities Everybody is different with their abilities. Mm -hmm. Some people are aware of it, some are not. Life also thrown at us hinders a lot. Mm -hmm. um, you definitely got a very strong clairsentience, which is the ability to feel and sense. Mm -hmm. And I know you've also sensed your brother a lot too. You just are, like with me, with some of my loved ones, are on the same frequency or wavelength, with our, whichever term we want to use. Mm -hmm. And that's why. And even for me, we can't feel our loved ones. Yeah. But we can sense them in other ways, and they send us, of course, the signs. Um, you need to also, when you start getting the signs from your brother, acknowledge it. Acknowledge it. Say yeah. thank you. Okay. Like I did this morning with my cardinal. Mm -hmm. um, now this one, I will kind of already admit to the camera, because I witnessed you in action. Yeah. But one of your... Um, skills too that you have is you're a very good white noise interpreter mm -hmm. and I like that with you um, I'm not going to say too much with that because you pretty much got that part down yeah just start psychically protecting yourself the mirrors more yes especially when you're putting this close to your ear because yes. you're putting all the energy right against your face you're so right. just start you're doing right. that okay um, we're going to try to, because I'm not super strong on dreams, but I know enough. Because I know your dreams are off and on. Dreams can, you don't remember your dreams, I do know that. Mm -hmm. um, if you can really start dedicating a meditation, and I'm also going to discuss another subject too here when we get to the point. Get to the meditation, um, try to do that sleep on your right side position because of your back. Mm -hmm. um, I also want you to get some um, electric white candles. Not real candles because I want you to keep them lit for you at night by your stand while you're sleeping. I don't want, you know, because you don't want to catch fire if you do a real right. candle. Right. So like these. Yep. Then. Yeah. These are really they were cool. telling me to do a real candle for you because of the smoke, but I'm just not comfortable with that at night while you sleep. Mm -hmm. But start leaving those. Um, you did tell me that you're, where you live, it's kind of hard to do the staging of the snow. So 
Um, you can always get liquid sage, like mm -hmm. Florida water, for example, wipe down every single surface in your house, including the floor, mop it with it. Mm -hmm. I know you can't do ceilings, so what you can do is always just pour something here and just try to flick it up to the ceiling okay. best you can. That's what I do, or well, yeah. used to. Um, and I think, and I'm going to ask you this, Patty, can't you also, with the Florida water, use it for like a little bit of like a laundry type effect too? You can. You can put a cap full or two in, in your laundry. Um, a lot of people, this goes way back to where people would put it in their mop water. Okay. They would mop their floors with a little bit of Florida water in there to cleanse the floor of the all. The Florida water is that stuff that kind of smells like mm -hmm. alcohol. Yep. Okay. I can send you the link on yeah. um, Amazon where you can get it. It's it's a it's an amazing thing to have. You can I wipe my desk down at home. I wipe everything that, like that down with it. Okay. I put it on myself Thank you. all the time. Yeah. I want you to wash every single bit of clothing you have in that. Not all at once. As okay. time goes up, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what else you can do with it. You can put it in a little spray bottle and mix it with some moon water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Or holy water even. Okay. And then use it as a spray to mist yourself. Okay. Yeah. Um, who do you live with again? Um, it's just a, a girl I'm, I found on Facebook. She's a Spanish 28 year old. Um, I'm not going to briefly talk about her because she's not here, so I don't want to talk, but I'm being drawn to this. Um, how does she, when she's there with you, what's her like emotions and moods like? Are she seems like a really nice girl. Um, she has a very, you know, she's sociable, she's got a lot of friends, and, you know, she's got kids, um, she, she seems like a nice, normal girl. Um, if you become close with her, she can actually help you a lot more too with like, I'm going to use this term, coaching, to help you get a little bit more calmer. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a very calm person. I, I sense, actually thought that. Yeah, I sense her energy. Um, I don't think you guys are quite close, close, Not but yet, no. within like a tolerable environment, I think you two can maybe work with each other. Because I also think she's got some little bit of trauma too. Who doesn't? But yeah, she. I think she does too. <clears throat> um, back to the dreams again. Um, also too, one other thing before I get continue on, you can also start taking, um, what is it called? Seltzer baths or whatever it is. Like salt baths? Yeah, yeah. with like lavender, because that's also very good. Mm -hmm. That will also help cleanse you a lot fast too, okay. but you've got to keep it up for us. Okay. Um, I want you to also, before you start going to bed at night, whether or not you have any uh, like religious religious beliefs or not, that's totally fine. It's your call, your choice. I want you to at least start talking to some archangels here because they're gonna also help you with your dreams because you need, you got a lot of messages that need to be said in your dreams. Mm -hmm. And these messages I can't even deliver to you because you need to see them okay. and turn on them. And yes, I got some homework for you. <laughs> I wrote down a list of archangels here. I want you to start getting familiar with. Okay. Um, you don't have to get familiar with all of them right away. I'm going to get over them real fast. And I'm only going to go over the certain pinpoints of why I chose these ones. Okay. Because there's so many and they all do so much as it is. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Archangel Michael, you need that protection. Mm -hmm. I want you to call upon Archangel Raphael for healing. Mm -hmm. I want you to call upon Archangel Chamuel for love. I want you to call upon Archangel Jophiel, or Jophiel, I'm not really good with names. Mm -hmm. uh, she will help you see your beauty that's within you. You're not seeing your beauty. Mm -hmm. You're not seeing, you are seeing yourself as a walking, living shadow. And you need to see, seeing yourself as a solid, white light. So you need to start talking to jo Jophiel, Jophiel, I'm sorry, I'm not good with names. Um, another one I'm not good with names with. I want you to start getting familiar with Archangel Ragul or Rajul, I'm not sure. He's going to be for peace and harmony. Okay. You need a lot of that in your life. You got the harmony part. It's a little off, but you're not. You're pretty good on that. It's the peace. Mm -hmm. And you got to find not just with peace with yourself. You need to find peace with your loved ones because they know that you're blaming yourself and you can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. 
and you need to find peace with you need to make peace with somebody in your family but I see a lot of hesitation too so mm -hmm. I'll let you decide for that because mm -hmm. I think you know where I'm going with that mm -hmm. and then the last one I want you to learn is Archangel Zachiel he is for forgiveness so here's your homework. That makes sense to me, all of those, so <laughs> thank you. Like I said, there are so many archangels, but I had to find specific ones for you. There could be a couple others, but I got so much going here. Um, one thing I want to quickly point out, because I didn't go too much into it, but does one of your kids have like a, something like mental, like an autism or mm -hmm. something like that? Um, he or she's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. I just want you to be kind of aware that they're going to struggle through their... How old is this? Child? She's 16. 16? Yeah. She's went through enough as it is. Yes, she has. Um, her... Dirty almost made me cry like three times. Sorry. Aww. <laughs> it's um, okay to cry. Yes. It's hard for me to cry. Um, by the... I'm going to give a rough age. By the age of 26. Don't quote me on this one, though. She actually might start being able to like cope a little bit more better on her own. Good. Um, it's still gonna. She's still gonna kind of be dependent. Yeah. I feel. She's like. Yeah. But she's gonna actually be a lot more understanding. I guess you could, you could say. Okay. Um, because I don't need to reveal the details. Because to me, that's kind of personal. I want you to keep that for yourself. But um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um good to hear. <laughs> uh, oh, real quick, I'm just throwing this out. I also saw your aura. You got a very dark purple. I don't know the meanings of auras because they can sometimes represent different things. But for your aura, because the negativity you got going with yourself, it's like almost like a fading color, almost like non-existent black. It's I really say, hard. I'm surprised not black. <laughs> It really isn't a, so much, to my experience anyways, I've never actually heard of an actual black, black aura, because then that would be like the negative other side, basically. Mm -hmm. But I've heard of auras diminishing. Okay. Um, or fading, whichever term you want to use. Um, oh, hold on, something's coming to me. Watch your knees. Okay. I mean, yes. Watch I have knees. issues with my knees too. Yep. I have a lot of health problems, but you're picking up on all the right ones. And I have, well, watch your knees and also watch up to your stomach area. This whole area. Yep. Um, I want you to keep an eye on that. Some, fortunately, damage has been done. I can see it, but I can't fix the past. Um, I just wanted to point out that he doesn't use any tools. Like this is all just mm -hmm. sensing it all. Mm -hmm. it's, I've never gotten a reading like this. I think it's amazing. It is. This is the best kind. And yeah. It is amazing. Um. Now this may not pertain to you. This could be an energy around. But were you afraid of closets or being in closets? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I've got issues with closets, but it was also, it's also that I've been So it was the end around, okay. Mira, can yeah. you have the fan hit me if possible? I'm pouring sweat. I'm trying. I know, you might want to, yeah, you might want to, yeah, I was going to say slide over a little she's bit. she's burned me up over here. Sorry. You're getting hot, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I have that effect on people. Yes. Because it's messing up my, uh. Sorry. Can you feel no, that better? Me. Yeah. Okay. I can at least feel it in my face. Yes. If I can get my face and hit my third eye, I'm just okay with that. Okay. Um, so sorry. No, it's okay. It's good. Um, yeah. you still hold on to that too. Actually, you both do. The closet thing. Me oh, too. You, you, have a, you guys have a closet thing too? When I was younger. Yeah. Not now. Yeah, she doesn't, and I don't think you do as much anymore. I, I was told that do. something used to hide in my closet. So I have to keep my closet door shut yep. every single night, and if 
Bobby sleeps closer to the closet door. I can't. Yeah. I have to sleep on the opposite I side. Sleep it just freaks me out. Oh I, I told you even in the salt. Was it you? I was like in solitary. That closet freaks me out. Yeah. I'm like, I don't like closets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're also very claustrophobic. Now that she did confess to me, but I, I knew that before. She okay. Did confess. Hmm. What? I never confessed that to you. I thought you did. No. Well, I did. You just not. Okay. It was me. I, but it's true Somebody too. Did. Yeah. I, I, I can't. I can't. Yeah, small spaces. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. And then, are you also afraid of like water, swimming, drowning? No. I knew you are, but... I love swimming, um, but I did almost drown. Okay. A couple times. I was picking up on something like that. Um, and now I'm just starting to get images from your past. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when I do readings, I won't get messages. They'll start sending me like, uh, like, what's the word I'm using? I call it daydreams. Okay. But it's your daydreams I'll see. Memories, flashes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So do you want me to like... When you pick up on something, like, track you the right way, or do you want me to keep my mouth shut? Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Just validate for me is all I ask. Okay. So, like, how I was saying, like, about your knees, and I asked you, and you said yes, yeah. that's all you got to say. Okay. If you choose to go into detail, you can. Some people are comfortable with going into detail, some aren't, and some just love opening up entirely. Yeah. But I always tell people, please just don't say a lot to me. I don't like to be influenced. Mm -hmm. I don't really like being influenced. Mm -hmm. Um... The only thing I would ask from people is what their ages are because if you tell me your age, I can pinpoint in your life what you've gone through and where you're at and what is to come. Mm -hmm. Now with you, I know your age and I've already done it, but um, when it comes to, because I'm being pushed now into your future here, um, and I'm going to say this, future readings I can do. But I would prefer not to a lot of times because it's always a 50-50 route. Yep. You can always change. And people have way too many high expectations and they get future readings. No, I'm aware that free will comes into play. Um, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. I see you. How far am I going? We're going 18 years far ahead. Oh, all right. Oh, wow. Give or take. I could be off a year two. Um, Different career. No, I'm not gonna say career. Different work path. I'm gonna use that term. Okay. But I think you might understand that in the future. You may not right now. No, not yet. Yeah, this this is like some way far ahead. Um, I do hate what I do. <laughs> so I maybe. did what you do for 24 years, and I hated it too. Yeah. An accountant. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what else I do. So yeah. we'll see. I guess. Yeah. I, I don't always see jobs. That's your free will. Yeah. Um, this is another future prediction, and this is going to be on your part. Um, if you start talking to Archangel Chamuel, the one for love, mm -hmm. I think you actually might find somebody that will come into your life. Mm -hmm. However, you're going to have to, and it's like the old saying, you can't love somebody until you love yourself. Yeah. So you're going to be sent a lot of guys throughout your life. Mm -hmm. you They're going to just bounce right off of you until you start healing. It's going to be like a ping pong. If you can focus and dedicate yourself and try to eliminate that energy within five to... S Please don't say years. <laughs> yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be years. Oh, five, man. That's a long time. Five to seven <laughs> years, give or take you will actually find with what they want to call your Prince Charming. Okay. Um, he's going to still be a little bit adolescent. I you uh, some reason attract that mm -hmm. with men. Um, he's gonna, but it's going to be it's a fun adolescent. It's not going to be like anything demeaning. Um, I think he's going to have a successful job. It's not going to be like a doctor or anything like that. It's going to be like his own type of business. So That's nice. Um, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> One slight like downfall is he's going to be constantly working a lot, so spending quality time can be a little bit diminished, but at least you know he'll be coming home. Yeah. Bring home bacon. Um, and again, this is only just a cur This is one path I'm seeing with you. Because I can also take another path if you want me to. I don't want to hear it, I already know. Okay. <laughs> I knew, I knew you knew. Yeah. Um, so we'll just start with that path. Mm -hmm. 
because we actually got like we actually got 17 pass. Jeez. Everybody has a bazillion pass. Well, yeah, it makes sense. Right. A lot of choices in life. Um, do you have any questions so far before I continue? No. Don't. Or anybody else around? <laughs> okay. Anybody picking up on anything? No. Okay. Um. I'm gonna start unwinding because now I'm starting to get the rain and all the energy around me too. So. Um, My battery is getting low anyway, so. Okay, I'll slowly start wrapping up. <laughs> and of course, I know your fear of clowns. Hmm. And are you afraid of something that flies too when you're a child? That might not be you. I was... Do you want me to go? Go ahead. Okay. I was deathly... Deathly. I don't know what kind of word he is. I was afraid of ghosts before I knew what ghosts were. So... Mm -hmm. that, they float. Yeah, because I was really I don't confused know. on this. Yeah. I'll do a half check on myself for that because I'm... It's kind of the direction I'm getting, but... Like, I slept in my mom's room. That's, like, the biggest fear I've ever had. I slept in my mom's room until I was 13. Um, I couldn't sleep by myself. I always thought they were watching me. Mm hmm Yep. I went through um, the same thing when I was younger. But I never... No, I, I think something happened that I blocked out. But uh, mm -hmm. as far as that, I can remember, I never, I've never seen anything. So it's weird, but I'd be so afraid. With the meditation and all that, if you start doing it, that will help alleviate a lot of that, too. Um, yeah. I mean, we can't erase trauma, unfortunately, but we can at least try to make, I like to say, make amends with it, and you know, at least be able to cope every day with the struggle. Um, so to wrap this up, because I need to start coming down now, um, I'm going to see if there's any final messages I need for you. Don't hate, learn to appreciate. <laughs> It's true. Um, <laughs> like the song, you can't always get what you want. Mm -hmm. Now we said that, make amends with yourself. Um, look at who you got in front of you, look who you have around you, don't be a fool, please listen. And I got that from your brother. Okay. And I'm oh, thinking, like him. the feeling wow. I'm getting is I think he's referring to us here. But, I mean, don't call me, but that's kind of the energy feel I'm getting. Yeah. Um. Or my senses off, sorry. Um, and finally, I don't know if you want me to reveal this or not, but it's okay. Um, I'll try to make this comical, not the way they want me to say it, but. Try to calm yourself down and not be so loosey goosey. Okay? <laughs> Are we talking about sex here? Yes. In other words, don't be a hoe. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you want to cut that out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I tried to be quiet. You know I'm plain spoken. Release. I don't give a fuck. I know what you say here. I say it with love. Huh? I, don't, I, feel like I just I was say it with love. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'm cutting this all out. I liked it. Okay. Um. So I'm going to close myself off. And before she shuts the camera off or loses the battery, um, just I want you. I always ask my clients to just basically break me so it helps me in the yeah, future. Yeah, of course. Be okay. very honest, please. Like right now, or do you have I'm going to ask you a couple questions, and then okay. you're going to sure. go from one to ten, okay? Okay, I'm going to be ten, honest. Ten being awesome, one being sucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
and I want honesty. And it's, it's, gonna it's, not, it's gonna be about accuracy, not awesome and sucks. Yeah. yeah. Um, so of course, the main question, on a scale from one to 10, how would you rate me based on what I did for you? Um, as far as like... Everything uh, I pinpointed. Um, pinpointed? How accurate. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, eight. Because, I mean, yeah, everything that you've said has made sense to me. There's just a couple things I had to question. Hold up. You kept getting eight yesterday. I did. Remember so in the book? Yeah. Book? That's weird. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're thank fine. you for saying that. He wrote uh, down he eight. He kept saying that he did getting the number eight. Three times. I'll just show the camera. I don't know where to camera Oh, my point. God. He did. He kept getting the number eight. And we couldn't figure it out. Are you scared? <laughs>